Welcome or welcome back to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, I will talk about barrel chest. Let's get into it. How we can recognize barrel chest. In a normal adult chest, the anterior posterior diameter and transverse diameter is uh, not the same. Like the ratio is 1 to 2. In patients with barrel chest, this ratio approaches 1 to 1 because anterior posterior diameter is enlarged. You can see anterior posterior diameter and transverse diameter from the image. And what is barrel chest? The term barrel chest describes a rounded bulging chest that resembles the shape of a barrel. And barrel chest is not a disease. It may indicate an underlying condition. We are going to talk about conditions, underlying conditions in a minute. The person may find it hard to breathe normally. And for some people, a barrel chest is part of their natural body shape. And while, while others develop a barrel chest over time as a result of an underlying medical condition. And the causes are for adult, a barrel chest is normally associated with either osteoarthritis, which is a disease that causes the cartilage at the ends of the bones uh, to break down, or COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In children, it may be linked to cystic fibrosis or chronic asthma. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition which mucus builds up in organs throughout the body. In COPD, empyzema or chronic bronchitis, uh, people develop a slight barrel chest in the later stage of the disease. And it occurs because the lungs are chronically overinflated with air, so the rib cage stays partially expanded all the time. And this makes breathing less efficient and aggravate shortness of breath. In emphysema, which is a type of COPD, is one of the most common causes of barrel chest. This happens because enlarged lungs and chronic airway obstruction caused by COPD and makes it difficult to push all the air out of the lungs when you exhale. You can see normal alveoli and alveoli with emphysema from the image. And barrel chest treatment is focuses on managing symptoms of the underlying condition and limiting the extent of lung damage. And live a smoke-free active lifestyle because you can prevent underlying conditions such as COPD or osteoarthritis. And that is the end of the video. If you found it helpful, please consider liking, commenting and sharing with your friends.